Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing our Sephora VIB sale haul. I wanted to get this up before the sale ends, which is on May 6th, and typically I don't get my orders until after the end of the sale, so I'm so happy that I can film this and get it up before the sale end. So I didn't get too many things for the sale on my wish list. I think there was only one thing that I really wanted, and I didn't end up getting it. <laughs> I end up getting other products. So this was totally random from what I thought I was gonna get, but I did place a small order. I have one box that hasn't come here, but I think it's gonna get here tomorrow. So I'll be able to insert what I got at the very end of the video. But if you want to see everything that I picked up during the sale, then just keep watching. I slept on my hair and was letting it air dry, so I've literally done nothing with my hair. As you can tell, it's kind of frizzy. And I was recommended to pick this up, and I really love this brand. It's from Olaplex. And this is the number six bond smoother. And I had one of you guys recommend picking this up. So this kind of started the order as well, <laughs> was recommendations from you guys. This is a leave-in reparative styling cream. It's supposed to eliminate frizz, hydrate and protect, and you can put this on dry or damp hair. So I wanted to do this on camera, just play around with these products. So I'm just going to take a little bit as it suggests. I have three other products from Olaplex, shampoo and conditioner and the Bond Restore. I forget what number that is. It's the one you do before you shampoo and conditioner, but I have three other products. So I knew I love the brand and I couldn't wait to try this one out. So I'm just rubbing it in my hands just to get that product so it's not so thick. And it says to do mid length and down. Still have a few pieces that are wet. As I said, we are still drying. My hair takes forever to dry. After putting that through my hair, it definitely calmed the frizz down and the fluffiness that my hair gets. And it feels really, really smooth. So, so far so good, but obviously I wanna test out everything a little bit more to see if I really like it. But this was one of the things I got during the sale and I couldn't wait to try it out because I love the other Olaplex products. So thank you so much for the recommendation for that. It was in my loves list because I did see it release but I wasn't going to pull the trigger this time, but you convinced me to. The next thing I decided to pick up is from Milk Makeup, and I haven't tried too many of their products, but I wanted to try this new Hydra Grip Primer. I kept hearing so many people talk about this, and it got really good reviews on Sephora. I was reading that it was very hydrating and it really holds on to your makeup, so those are things that I'm definitely looking for. And this is a hemp-derived cannabis extract plus blue agave extract activate all day hydration and hold. It sounded amazing. And as I said, the reviews were really good, but I did decide to go with the small size of this because I didn't want to fully invest yet. I have some other primers that I absolutely love. This is 10 milliliters or 0.33 fluid ounces for this size. I thought with the sale and the price of it, it would be good to just try out the little mini first before I invest in the big one. I haven't tried this, but I have tried the other products. So that's the only thing I haven't had a chance to try, but I like never get my orders <laughs> this early. So I'm just so thankful that I'm able to get it up before the end of the sale. And then I have another face product that I was really intrigued by. The reviews were kind of good and bad. Some people really like it, some people were not so sure. But I still decided to pick it up anyways because I wanted to get the 20% off. And this is from Farsali, and it is their Liquid Glass Radiance Make Skin Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. And I really love that glass skin look, and I have tried this out. And this, with just a light layer of my Dior Face and Body, it is so, so beautiful. I didn't set it at all and it just looked radiant and perfect. I know this is gonna be a go-to product of mine. I am also wearing it today, but because I'm wearing more makeup, it's kind of pointless to wear it if you're wearing a lot more makeup. I find this is a good product for when you want light coverage and just to look really natural but glowing. This is what the bottle looks like and I really enjoyed it the first time I used it. I felt like it really gave my skin a beautiful glow and just even this on its own was so, so stunning. This has hyaluronic acid in it so it helps maintain moisture and really locks it in there. This is something that I think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of but just from the couple times that I have used this, I've really enjoyed it. But I will show you kind of what it looks like on my hand but these products that I have are really hard to show you. It's not really a good swatching haul 
because these you just have to kind of see in action. Just maintains a glow on your skin and there is a little bit of tack to it as well. So it really helps lock everything down. And I can see this product quickly becoming a favorite. So I'm so happy that I bought it during the sale just to get that money off. I've really enjoyed all the Farsali products that I have purchased. So that definitely a top product from this haul. The next product I picked up is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I wanted this when it first released but they didn't have it online on Sephora Canada. When I picked up the Riviera palette and the loose highlighters they didn't have this available else I would have got it there but it launched in time for the sale so I was able to save that 20% which was really really nice. So this is a beautiful spray. I love the packaging on this and even the locking mechanism and the spray itself is really, really great. It comes out a lot and the product inside is not glittery. It's just the packaging. It is a clear liquid and this really gives the skin a nice dew to it and really melts everything together. So I use this today to give me that all over glow and I really, really liked it. I've used this yesterday as well and liked it too. I want to compare it to my Farsali because my Farsali one doesn't have as much product in there and it's more expensive but I do find this gives me that all over glow which I really really like. This paired with my glass skin from Farsali and Dior face and body was just stunning. I didn't even wear concealer when I put those together. It was just such a pretty natural looking skin. And then during the sale, this came back in stock and I was so happy because I had notifications for this and this is just a pair of scissors, but I needed a new pair because my Mac ones are becoming really dull and I have them gummed up because I tried to cut open my nail glue bottles every now and then because it was the only thing on hand. So I need to really clean them and I've dulled them from what I've been using them with. So I just wanted a pair of scissors that I can keep to trim my lashes and just keep for non-aggressive things <laughs> that I use my other scissors for. And I think these are back out of stock, at least on Sephora Canada because they didn't have them for quite a while. But I heard these are really, really good, really sharp. I have yet to put these to the test though, but I definitely needed a new pair of scissors. So it was really nice that something I needed to pick up came back in stock. I'm really happy about scissors. <laughs> And then I had another viewer tell me that I needed to pick up the Burberry Her fragrance and I placed an order for the roller ball because they said that I would really, really like it. So I'm just going off of recommendation. I haven't even smelt it yet, but if it comes in the mail before this video goes up on Friday, I will insert that in the video for you and give you my little first impression of this smell. I did get a roller ball to put in my purse. I would have preferred if it was a spray. I do like the travel sprays better than the rollers, but I'm really excited to smell it just because of how it was described to me. It sounded like perfection. So I did pick up a new fragrance and that is everything for my Sephora haul. I wanted to get the Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom body cream, but it was $100 for the jar. I kind of talked myself out of buying that body cream right now because I tend to do that with Jo Malone because it's so pricey. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to pick that up, even though that's my favorite scent of all time. I didn't end up picking that up during the sale, but this is everything that I did and I'm so happy with my purchases so far. I think I did good. I didn't get too many products, but I got a lot of things that I know I'm really gonna like and utilize a lot so thank you guys so so much for watching this video let me know what you picked up during the sale if you still need to shop you have until may 6th so definitely get your orders in let me know what i need in the comments so if i need to place another order i can do that before may 6th thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in my next video